What's up everybody, I got a review for Extreme Rules right now, watching the ending, and Seth Rollins just returned. <laughs> Seth Rollins is back, it looks like, he just pedigreed Roman Reigns. After Roman Reigns defeated AJ Styles, which I'm not happy about, but I'll go over the results for you. Um, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson defeated the Usos, and yes, I watched it on the WWE Network, and Seth Rollins, I see him right there. He's back. Thank you, Seth Rollins. The fans are chanting for him, the fans are cheering him. He's winning. I hope Seth Rollins wins back the title he never even lost because he got injured back in like October or November or something. You can see him on TV right there. But anyways, Rusev is your new United States Champion after defeating Kalisto after Kalisto got injured. Um, the New Day retained their titles against the VOD Villains, which I was hoping the VOD Villains would win, but that didn't happen. Seth Rollins is back, man. <laughs> The Miz retained his Intercontinental Championship, which was a great Fatal 4-Way match. A great match. Maybe, maybe match of the year candidate, you know. Um, Dean Ambrose defeated Chris Jericho in the Asylum match, which was another great cage match. <laughs> Chris, Jericho, Chris Jericho got thrown on some thumbtacks. It was pretty cool, actually. Um, there's Seth Rollins holding up his title. I thought Seth Rollins wouldn't be back until SummerSlam, but, but I was looking at him right now. Thank you, Seth Rollins. You're back. Um... Charlotte retained her title against Natalya, which was an alright submission match, but Dana Brooke came out and interfered, dressed up as Ric Flair, turning around like, you know, and boom, Dana Brooke, because Ric Flair could not be there or else Natalya would lose. And, of course, I just mentioned that AJ Styles lost to Roman Reigns. But Seth Rollins made the ending of that pay-per-view so much better when he returned and pedigreed Roman Reigns. Seth Rollins, I'm glad you're back. I hope you win back the title you never lost. This was another great pay-per-view. They're having a good roll of pay-per-views, although I'm looking at a Seth Rollins versus Roman Reigns story coming up very shortly. But I was hoping that there would be a new Intercontinental Champion. I, hope the I was hoping the VOD Villains would be become tag champions, but that didn't happen. But you can never get what you want, I guess. But yeah, another great pay-per-view. You've got new champions, Seth Rollins, a very good main event. Very good pay-per-view, five-star in my opinion, and Seth Rollins is back. And that's all I want to say. Have a nice day. Subscribe if you want to. Jackson Parker saying, I'm going to continue watching wrestling because it's getting better and better. And um, Money in the Bank is the next pay-per-view, so check that out. We'll have a new Mr. Money in the Bank. Maybe it'll be Seth Rollins. Who knows? But Money in the Bank looks like it's going to be a pretty good pay-per-view. But have a nice day. So subscribe if you want to again. And bye.